yes from my side any disturbance is there please let me know okay please let me know if you are not able to hear properly okay because i started recording then in the recording may if anything is not clear then you will not understand later when you refer okay so let me know if you did not listen properly if you couldn't listen okay this is the reference string okay now this reference strings are what simply page numbers simply page numbers okay why page numbers because before this we discuss about paging and segmentation paging and segmentation okay these are two memory management concepts okay paging may we saw that the entire main memory will be split into different frames fixed size frames okay at the same time the secondary memory which is called virtual memory will be split into will be split into fixed size pages secondary memory will be split into fixed size pages main memory will be split into fixed size frames okay but number of frames and number of pages will differ you know the reason because secondary memory is very large if you split that into different pages more number of pages will come okay but main memory what it is very small so number of frames will be less here what we are seeing this is a main memory this is main memory these are the pages page sequence which are going to come inside the main memory okay so these are the page number so we are talking about paging not segmentation okay so there are sequence of pages these are called reference string or page reference string okay now page number 1 comes inside the main memory that time main memory was completely free okay so page 1 was not already there in the main memory if the page is not there the page which is coming newly that is not already there in the main memory that is called what page miss page miss or page fault page miss or page fault okay so page 1 comes which was not there already so it will be loaded in the in one of the frames one of the frames of the main memory is yes, loaded you marked that as a page fault okay another name for page fault is page miss okay page number 2 comes when page number 2 comes this was the status of the main memory only page 1 was there okay page 2 was not there already so page miss again okay page number 2 will be loaded page 3 comes when page 3 comes this was the status of the main memory page 3 was not there page miss that page number 3 will be loaded okay page number when four, page number 4 comes this was the status of the main memory page number 4 was not there so page miss the page number 4 was loaded till this everything okay but uh, of course already the pages were not, were not there in the main memory so it will be considered as page fault okay now the main memory filled there are four frames there are four frames in main memory okay the pages which are coming no that size and the frame size is equal that you know we studied in the paging okay now there are four uh, frames minimum number of frames they have taken just to explain the algorithm okay so the main memory in main memory all the frames have filled that time page number 5 comes page number 5 comes any one of these pages any one of these pages should be removed then only we can keep page number 5 right okay so which page will be removed that is called a page replacement algorithm which page will be removed which page will be removed what algorithm we are seeing optimal page replacement algorithm okay in optimal page replacement algorithm what i said the future string the future string will be referred which is future string for page 5 page 5 only arrived now no we are searching some space for page 5 okay so to page 5 which is the future string future string this the entire strings are future string all these pages are future in future all this are going to be referred okay so in this which are the pages are there already 1 2 3 5 are there okay one referred here two referred here 
three referred here. Okay. When five comes, these are the pages, not this. Okay. When page number five comes, these are, this was the status of the main memory, no? So one, two, three, four were there. These are the pages were there when page number five comes. Okay. So among these pages, which page will be removed? One, two, three, four. Look at here, one referred here in this few in future. One, two referred here, three referred here, four, page number four. It was not referred at all. That means it is not going to come in future. Page number four will not come in future. Okay. So that page will be removed. That page will be removed. Which page? Page number four will be removed. Page number four will be removed. Remember. Page number four will be removed. Which page will come? Page number five will come. After page five comes, the main memory looks like this. One, two, three, five or that. Okay. Now, which page will come? Page one will come. Okay. Page one already there. Page one was already there in the main memory. So this is not page miss. This is page hit. Already there, no? So it is page hit. Okay. So here we marked page hit. Okay. There is no change in the main memory. It will be retained as it is. Okay. One, two, three, five as it is. Because the page which was referred already there in the main memory. There is no change in the main memory. Okay. Now page number three comes. When page number three comes, this was the status of the main memory. Which are the pages are there? Page number one, two, three, five or that. Okay. Page three is coming. Page three already there in the main memory. So no change as it is page hit. That is called the page hit. Why it is called page hit? Because this page which came newly, that was there in the main memory there in the main memory. Okay. So there is no change in the main memory, but it will be marked as page hit. Page hit. We found the page, no? So it is called page hit. Okay. Now next page, page number one is coming. When page number one comes, it is there already. So that is also page hit. All the pages will be retained as it. Now page number six comes. Page number six was not there already. Not there in the main memory. So it is page miss or page fault. Okay. Page number six comes which was not there already in the main memory. So we marked page miss. Okay. Now we have to decide in this pages which page should be removed. Okay. This is which algorithm? Optimal page replacement algorithm. In this, we will refer only the future string. Future string. Okay. So, which page is referred? Six. So, after six, which are the pages are there? Future string may three, two, three or that. Okay. But inside the main memory, which are the pages are there? One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five may two, three is here, two is here. Okay. But 1 and 5 are not there only here in the future string. It will not be referred. It will not be referred. Okay. So, in this, there is a tie between page 1 and page 5. Because these two, page 1 and page 5, both are not there in the future string. That means it will not be referred only. Okay. So, we can remove any one of these pages, no? But as this is tie, tie, what we have to do, we can apply another algorithm. Commonly, we will apply FIFO, first in, first out. Okay. When you compare these two pages, which came, which uh, page is a FIFO page, this page one, because this is only for longer period of time staying in the memory. So this is the victim page. This is a FIFO page when comparing with page one and page five. So, which page will be removed? Page 1 will be re removed. As per what? As per 
optimal page replacement algorithm and also fifo algorithm after applying optimal algorithm we applied fifo algorithm we have chosen page 1 as a victim page to remove okay so we we removed this page page number 6 came now this is a status of what this is a status of main menu okay now which page is coming page number 3 comes page number 3 which was already there in the main memory so marked page hit the memory the main memory will be retain as it is okay next page number 2 comes page number 2 is also already existing in main memory so this is marked as page hit there is no change in the main memory page number 3 comes already there in the main memory that is also page hit there is no change in the main memory okay remember so in page replacement algorithm we will in optimal page replacement algorithm we will refer the future string in the future string the page which will not be referred which is not going to be referred at all that will be removed first if suppose no such pages all the pages for example here four pages all the four pages are there in the future string then which page will be removed the page which will be referred very later last may which page will come that page will be removed okay so this is optimal page replacement algorithm in optimal page replacement algorithm implementation is very difficult why because this is very feasible algorithm because we are referring the future string and which page will not come that page only we are removing so of course it will reduce the number of page fault by default okay but implementing this algorithm is very difficult because we need future string future string the page which is going to be come also already known okay already known priorly so that is difficult but how it will be implemented using simulator okay so it is like a trial simulator means it will uh, simulator is a algorithm which will simulate the um, real time environment that means you can just try trial you can perform using the simulator so during the trial you will receive all the pages then the operating system will apply the actual algorithm okay so implementation is very difficult okay why first all the pages should be received and put it in the simulator algorithm and then in trial will be performed and then the algorithm will be implemented by the operating system actually because during the trial we would have received all the pages no then it is easy then we will get all the future strings so we can implement the algorithm okay so that is the uh, disadvantage of the algorithm but advantage is if we implement we could implement this is a good algorithm okay because how we will decide it is a good algorithm because this will give only the less number of page fault less number of page fault okay why page fault is bad thing because it will increase the overhead you no know? see one page we are referring which is already there in the main memory quickly we can move because when already there no change in the main memory okay when the page is not when the page was not there then only we have to apply the algorithm we have to search the future string we have to remove the page victim page all those will be happen okay if the page is already there it is what very what the uh, algorithm can be implemented quickly okay that is why page fault or page miss is what negative thing okay so page fault or page miss should be avoided avoiding is very difficult we have to minimize minimize the number of page fault algorithm should be designed such a way that it should what reduce the number of page fault then that is called a efficient algorithm okay okay now what was the problem with the lru least recently used algorithm in least recently used algorithm like fifo like fifo number of page fault cannot be reduced considerably okay why now 
is for example you are removing one page because you are seeing only the past string no future string may you future string future pages which is which will be referred you will not see okay suppose here you are removing this is a good example please listen please listen now here the page 1 comes okay you are used to the page 1 okay you put the you page 1 inside the main memory okay then page 3 comes assume that we found that page 1 is a victim page okay so we removed that page okay to keep page number 3 see again in a future reference just now we removed page 1 but it is coming again okay just now we removed the page 1 to keep page 3 assume okay assume that page 1 we removed to keep page 3 okay okay now page 3 is there page 1 is not there in the main memory but immediately after we are what we are getting page 1 this will increase the page fault unnecessarily we will remove and then we will keep immediate okay such a type of string comes such a type of string comes which type of string the page which we removed very recently if it comes in the reference string in future then unnecessarily it will increase the overhead that means we have to remove have to keep the same page okay so this will be the that will very commonly happen in lr least recently used algorithm the reason is we are referring only the past string we are not considering the future string okay fifo algorithm may what is happening fifo fifo here also the same thing may happen because here we are seeing only the page which came very uh, earlier that page will be removed the page which came first that will be removed okay so here also suppose here we are removing the page we want to keep page 3 we removed page 1 so we are keeping again again in a future string the page 1 is gone okay so this will increase unnecessarily what page uh, number of page fault okay so the same problem in lru and also but in fifo what will happen in fifo what will happen other than that the future string we cannot refer that's why the the page which is very recently removed could be added again okay so that is one issue another issue what is there in the fifo we are not referring the past string no we are not referring the past string or future string here we are referring only the page which which stayed long period of time continuously that page will be removed that is the victim page okay so in that case the page which removed previously can also removed again the page which will come very soon that can also be removed so this has the disadvantage uh, which overcame by the least recently used algorithm and optimal algorithm both the algorithms which has the um, which has which overcame some uh, this no difficulties no uh, the both the difficulties were there in the fifo algorithm because this will not refer future string this will not refer past okay so that is the disadvantage of fifo next algorithm is very uh, good algorithm but implementation is difficult implementation is difficult matlab what not like optimal page replacement algorithm we have to receive entire string in priorly okay it is not like that this is the algorithm which will reduce the uh, page page fault okay but not like optimal page replacement algorithm. not like the very big problem in the optical optimal page replacement algorithm is we need a future string that is a big disadvantage okay so to overcome that we have another algorithm this algorithm can also be called as clock replacement algorithm clock c l o c k clock okay here there are some extra attributes added this is called a second chance page replacement algorithm okay Uh, nowadays simple clock page replacement algorithm is not used by any of the operating system if it use the operating system uses the clock page replacement algorithm it will use second chance page replacement algorithm this is a type of clock clock page replacement algorithm okay 
now look at here this is a reference string which has a sequence of page numbers which will be referred okay here we have two uh, extra attributes one is called the pointer pointer will point the current page okay this is called the clock pointer this is generally called this is clock pointer and of course this zero is a page number okay this is not new this zero is not new but within the bracket we have written something no that is called a reference bit reference bit so this pointer and the reference bit is new to this algorithm new to page replacement algorithm okay this pointer clock pointer and the reference string reference bit now it is not a string it is a single bit okay so reference bit which is written inside the uh, parenthesis everywhere okay so that bit and the clock clock pointer these two are extra attributes in the page replacement algorithm okay now listen here uh, okay by just i explain the uh, algorithm and in between i explain uh, why what is happening in this algorithm okay now page please listen all of you listen please this separate, same reference string same ref reference string i have written here okay this is also say this is a reference string okay here also reference string but this reference string i could not place it here okay as here it is a small space i couldn't place it here that's why i placed it here don't confuse okay this is a reference string and this is a continuation of that reference string okay this both the reference string togetherly given here page sequence okay that only i have to can return like this yeah. okay okay now page 0 comes main memory was completely empty okay initially pointer will be here it will point to the first frame first frame okay the clock pointer will by default point the starting of the uh, main memory. starting of the main memory may which will be there the first frame will be there so it will be here which is not shown in the diagram okay it would be here when page 0 comes we place the page 0 we place the page we place page 0 okay because that page was not there completely empty no so we placed page 0 that is a page fault we know because the page was already not there that is marked as page fault or page miss page miss page fault both are same okay page fault one okay but uh, the page which which when it is coming newly to the main memory no the reference bit will be zero okay the reference bit can be either zero or one only okay it should be binary value only but the page when it is first referred the reference bit will be zero okay remember so new page comes with reference string zero reference bit is zero okay where was the pointer initially here it was it was here initially uh, we after we loaded this page 0 no we just pulled one step ahead so pointer came here okay i repeat newly page 0 comes it was not there in the main memory so it is a page fault the page 0 loaded with reference set reference bit 0 okay the pointer moved one step ahead after loaded the page okay the pointer for every step the clock pointer can move one step ahead only one step ahead only it can move. okay remember then the next step page number 4 comes when page number 4 comes this was the status of the main memory that page page 4 4 was not there so page fault page fault okay page number 4 also went inside the main memory with the reference bit 0 because this is also new page no so reference bit should be zero okay after we kept the after the operating system kept this page inside this frame 
it will move the clock point it moved the clock point okay okay now which page come page number 1 comes this was the status of the main memory when this page comes okay this page was not there so page fault we kept that page also with the reference bit c okay where is the pointer the pointer was here c the pointer was here we loaded the value then we moved the pointer one step ahead so after this where it will go it went here okay so you can imagine it is like a circle it is like a clock clock so zero first this frame then this frame and then this frame then this again this again this again this it is circle okay that is why this is called clock clock page algorithm okay okay so page 1 comes we loaded the page and we moved the point we loaded the page with reference bit 0 and we moved the point okay now this was the status of the uh, main memory okay now page 4 comes page 4 comes the page 4 was already there in the main memory so it is page hit right it is page hit but what we are marking here here what we are marking already the page when page 4 comes the page was there already no the page was already there this usually we will call as page hit right but here is also it is page hit but what change we are making here we are changing the reference bit of that page we are changing the reference bit of that page from 0 to 1 from 0 it was 0 we are changing that reference bit to 1 okay is this clear new page arrives i repeat new page number 4 arrives that time the main memory was like this this page number 4 was already there okay page number 4 was already there in the main memory so it is page hit whenever page hit occurs whenever page hit occurs if that page reference bit is zero if that page reference bit is zero that will be changed to one that will be changed to one okay is this clear but no change in the pointer no change in the pointer students please listen please re recall in previous algorithms and all any page hit happen we did not do any change in the main memory everything will be retained as it is but here what is happening pointer will be as it is that will not move one step ahead pointer will be as it is but the page which was referred that reference bit will go from 0 to 1 vice versa is not possible vice versa is not possible that means suppose this page already reference bit is 1 that cannot be changed 1 to 0 okay if it is 0 that can be changed to 1 okay which means we are giving another chance to page 4 to stay that is called second chance that is called a second chance okay is this clear students okay now this is the status of main memory this is the status of main memory now the pointer is here page 2 comes page 2 newly coming page 2 was not there here isn't it so that is page fault right it is page fault but now what we have to do we have to remove any one of the pages no here it is simple the algorithm the page which points the the a page which is pointed by the pointer the page which is pointed by the pointer and its reference bit is zero that page will be removed the page which is pointed currently pointed by the pointer that means that is called a clock page because this is called a clock pointer no 
so this page now currently this page is pointed no so this page is currently called a clock clock point or this page is called a clock page okay so the clock page which has reference bit 0 the clock page which has reference bit 0 will be removed okay two conditions the page should be clock page and also the reference bit will be 0 then only we can remove the page okay so we removed this page page 0 to keep page 2 we kept page 2 with reference bit 0 you know new page comes reference bit should be 0 okay but where the pointer will go pointer will be moved one step ahead it came here now now this is the status of the main memory okay now this time page 4 comes page 4 is already there in the main memory okay already there in the main memory but the page 4's reference bit is 1 it's not 0 okay so reference bit will not be changed it will be exactly the pointer reference bit everything will be retained as it is here this is because of what the newly arrived page reference bit this newly arrived page already there in the main memory so it is page hit right so during the page hit that victim page reference bit is 0 it will be changed but here it is 1 so it will be retained as is okay now this is the status of the main now page number 3 comes p page number 3 was not there in the main memory so it is called page fault it is page fault okay now we have to keep the page number 3 here anywhere we will find the clock page yes this is a clock page clock page to remove the page what are the two condition should be satisfied the page should be clock page and also the reference bit should be zero but it is not here okay so this page we cannot refer we cannot remove this page why though it is a clock page its reference bit is what one it's not zero if it is zero then only we can remove it is one we cannot remove then what we can do we will move this cursor one point ahead okay now this page we will see after moved this pointer whether we can remove this page or not yes this page can can be removed because currently the pointer will point this page and this is the the reference bit is zero also okay so this page will be removed this page will be removed when this page is removed where was the pointer pointer was here okay we remove this page we will keep this page page number 3 but pointer was here that will go to here okay one step ahead it will go no it went here is this clear students could you follow everybody yes yes or no loudly yes ma'am okay now page number 4 comes page number 4 is already there in the main memory okay and its reference bit is 0 so refer only reference bit will be changed the pointer will not move the pointer will be as so now this is the status of the main memory okay and uh, whenever we are changing the reference bit that is called a second chance remember okay this is a page hit during the page hit the reference bit of the victim page is changed that page has been given second chance okay now this is the status of the main memory page number 2 arrives page number 2 already there in the main memory okay but the reference bit of that page is 0 that will be changed to 1 now the page number 2 got second chance okay now this was the status in the of the main memory that time which page comes page number 4 comes when page number 4 comes this is the status of the main memory 
page number 4 already there in the main memory and its reference bit also one so no change in the main memory it will come as it is okay now next page number 0 comes page number 0 was not there in the main memory okay so any one of the pages should be removed which page pointer page but pointer page cannot be removed because reference bit is one okay we will try next page by moving the pointer ahead now the pointer is here i this page is also what we cannot remove because reference bit is one again one step you will move the pointer yes this page can be removed because it's it's reference bit is zero so now currently pointer here when the pointer being here we remove this page and we will keep new page which is page number 0 okay now after we kept the page number 0 where the pointer will go from here it will go to top so now the main memory will be like this okay now page number 4 comes when page number 4 comes this was the state of the main memory okay already there so it is page hit but reference bit is 0 reference bit will be changed to 1 okay pointer will be as it is now page number 1 comes page number 1 was not there in the main memory so page fault okay so if it is page fault any one of the pages should be removed yes the pointer pointing page is a uh, its reference bit is zero so we can remove this we removed then the we replace the page 1 with reference bit zero the pointer was here it went here now this is the status of the main memory okay now page 4 comes it was there already and also its reference bit is 1 so no change okay now page number 2 comes which was not there already so it is a page fault it's a page fault which page will be removed the uh, clock clock pointer page but clock pointer page reference bit is 1 cannot be removed clock will be moved once yes the clock page and also reference bit can be so this will be for page number 2 will come newly okay we place the page number okay now page number 4 comes which was already there so but its reference bit is zero the reference bit will be changed so this got second chance okay now this is a second chance page okay the pointer will not move it will be as it is now which page is coming page number 3 comes page number 3 it was not already there so it is a page fault okay so we have to keep the page number 3 here any one of the pages should be removed this is a pointer page reference bit zero of course then we can remove we removed and we kept what page number 3 okay now next which page next page number 4 comes page number 4 was there already and its reference bit is also one so no change in the main memory it will be retained so this is the second chance page replacement algorithm okay here there are few things you have to remember when you are type when you are writing theoretically you no need to refer any textbook anything okay any such example you can take but what are the condition you have to write here theoretically in text how will you write when page hit happens remember when page hit happens page hit means what the page was already there there are two things you have to consider when page hit happens if the page has reference bit zero it should be changed to one no change no other change okay this is one thing second one when page hit happens that page reference bit is one nothing should be done it should be retain as it is the main memory content will be retain as it is including pointer every these are the two cases when page hit happens okay 
when page miss occurs when page miss occurs what you have to do when page miss occurs you have to find clock pointer page and also the clock pointer page should be should have reference bit zero okay that page should be removed if not the pointer page does not have the reference bit zero then you will move the pointer one step ahead you will see the same condition the same you will check same condition the other page is satisfied if it satisfies you will remove that page and replace a new page otherwise again you will move the pointer ahead this will continue only this theoretically you have to this is very important okay Okay. Students, uh, now time is three five. Okay, you can take ten minutes break and you can join at three uh, fifteen. Three fifteen one five. Okay, ten minutes break you can take. You can join at three fifteen exactly. 